made me not want to give up. It's actually quite a... Um, actually, I can't really answer that question truthfully. It's just one of those things, you know. On the day of the call, we were busy working on site and the SAPS search and rescue unit phoned me directly. I asked him what areas were being flooded. At the same time, I notified the rescue, rest of the duty crew and the guys all responded to the rescue base. There were two teenage kids stuck on an island in the middle of the Amlaz River south of Durban. Went up about 100 metres and stood on the edge of the river and watched in the lightning to see if there was any debris coming down. I waited until I could see that the river was clear and I entered the river and swam down to the top end of the island, made my way down to them and when I got there I found out that a third elderly gentleman had, from the local community had swum out to try and help these two kids. I then proceeded to get a rope to them. The first guy that I started to pull was a teenager. He, without any hesitation, grabbed the rope and allowed me to pull him towards myself. And he was probably about three to five meters away from me and he just gave up. He just let go of the rope and disappeared under the water. After his second time of going underneath the water, I lunged forward and managed to grab him, managed to hold onto the rope that I had secured further back, managed to pull myself back into an area where I could get him onto a, a very thin tree. I then went and got the other two, and when I got the other two using the same method, threw the rope to them, pulled them closer towards me. When I got them closer towards myself, I found that the elderly gentleman that had gone out to help them had a a very thin life jacket on. I then managed to get the elderly gentleman and the youngster further up river using an eddy current that had been formed by the island. Um, I got the two further up the river, went back to fetch the, the, uh, the, the sort of young adult and um, finally Chris got to me and secured the youngster that was tied onto the boogie board and disappeared back across the river. The elderly gentleman that was in, a, in the life jacket, he disappeared into the middle of the river and then swam across onto the opposite side of the river where there were no emergency services. And eventually Quirs managed to get back and between the two of us we moved him up the river using the eddy current that was formed by the island after a reasonably strenuous swim uh, with no, nothing to aid us beside ourselves. Um, we got him across to the bank and handed him over to the medics. Later learned that the police had got all their details, but unfortunately I've never managed to find those details and haven't had a chance to talk to the guys.